play developing, takes care of his responsibility, just terrific job defensively. Here's Magician. The putback. He can't get that one to fall. Gone four of eight and looking in control. The law. Very well done. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley-oop. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. Here's B. Here's Magician. The shot that time, not on target. Outside Davis. Takes the three. They get it back. Controls the rebound and the putback. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Both teams deciding to change it up. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Has to be. Here's Farrell. Checked by Davis. Here's Prez. Now here's Barnes. Six to shoot. Who poked away. From deep. Davis with a rebound. Gone. Six of 11 so far. Pass to Baker. Now here's Davis. Here's the magician. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. down the first one well since commissioner silver took over grant it seems the league's dress code is now leaving more let's say uh, wiggle room you good with that yeah a lot of wiggle room at least compared to when i played when it was more of a business casual environment but i think it's great let the players be themselves let them be authentic and i think in a weird kind of way it endears these players to the fans at home watching on tv like a bunch of runway models before <laughs> and after every game. No question, no question. Now here's Towns. Tipped away. Stolen by Davis. Pass to the Magician. That's in there. Davis with the assist. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Here's Towns. Can they get it? Misses the layup. Gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Right side, Davis. Here's Baker. Pass to Dudley. Clock at six. Blocked! Now here's Barnes. Tight defense on him. Here's Prez. Off target with the three. Shooting has been impressive. 54% so far in the first. Here's Baker. Looking for his first basket still in this one. 4-3. Barnes with the rebound. Shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Pass to Towns. Here's Prez. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line.
And he drops the first. Hits both from the stripe. Here's the magician. Pass to Dudley. 151 left in the first quarter of the game. Second chance shot. And the layup is good. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. And no doubt, Coach wants them to improve their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. And there's 138 left in the first quarter. Has to be. Can't hit that one. Got an 8 of 16 attempts to fall. Here's Davis. The offensive rebound. D can't get it to go. Towns against Davis. Here's B. 107 left in the first quarter here. Five to shoot. Pass to Champ. Tries it from 16. That's good on the jumper. He is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open. Shooting around 44% in this opening quarter. Now here's Davis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. That free throw, good from Davis. Free throws good from Davis. Here's Magician. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Towns. There's 37 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And the shot goes. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. Here's Baker. Here's the great one. Second chance effort, and it's laid in by Davis. Davis has got nine. No question who's in control of the board so far. Parker outside. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Here's Baker. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Up by 12. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. to have you with us second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one 
Well, they came out with a physical presence and made rebounding a priority. I think it's why they hold the lead here early because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second chance opportunities. And it's B in at the two. Parker outside. 11 feet out. He can't get it to go. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. We've got Davis. And it's A-Train in at the five down low. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. And it's George in at the four. Here's Magician. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Stolen by Davis. We've got Davis, and it's Davis in at the one spot. Count it. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Shooting a rough 29% from the field here. To the wing on the left. Has to be. Here's Magician. Shot clock at six. From about 16, misses off the right iron. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's the great one. Misses the layup. Here's Farrell. Checked by Davis. Here's Farrell. Past the magician. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. I think that's going to stick with him for a while. Huge mistake at a critical juncture in the game. And I think the intention doesn't always equal the result. Wrong play, wrong time. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Got two of three shots to go in the second. Quarter two in about two minutes in. Here's the great one. Pass to the Magician. Fires from deep. Pure from three-point range. He has six. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Here's Champ. Barnes with it. Tries to snap the cold streak. Excellent D there from Davis. Gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Knocks it down from distance. Davis has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. You know, Grant, sometimes with certain flagrant fouls, you'll hear people say it was a dirty play, but not a dirty player. But when does it become both? Well, we all understand, B.A., dirty plays aren't good for the game. But sometimes a flagrant foul will happen. A lot of times, though, you have to factor in a pattern of behavior. I really believe players who have a history of being called for a lot of flagrant fouls plays a big role in how it's perceived. Towns, he's checked in for George. Parked it down low that time, got hit with the three-second call. He pushed a little too hard there trying to close the gap. And yes, he paid the price. That's a big miscue, and you hate to see that happen at this point in the game. Gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Pass to the great one. A shot from the high post. Outside Davis. Here's Dudley. It's blocked. D. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out.
shooting a rough 25% for the field in this game. Has to be. Now Towns. Looking to end the run. And he lays it up and in. Towns has got his first two points. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Going all in. That was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Here's Prez. Outside Barnes. Has to be. The ball's knocked loose. The three. Doesn't go that time. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. Oh, you better shoot that. the champ shot clock at five here's B the three ball D pulls it in the shot no good Ooh, excellent D from from Barnes now here's Towns guarded closely Pass to Champ. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And he can't get the first one. So both teams changing it up here. And the second free throw is good. Gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Pass to Peterson. Here's the magician. From the arc. Baker can't get it to go. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Now here's Towns. Tightly guarded. Baker grabs the board. Shooting just 42% so far in the game. To win the drought. And it's good on the layup. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now here's Towns. Here's Magician. Let's the three fly. Parker, no good. Pass to Baker. 156 left to play in the second quarter. And he's able to get it back. Here's Fisher. That's no good. Couldn't get his first one to go. Here's Magician. Here's Champ. High post Towns. And he got a missile on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair.
That free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. On the wing, Davis. Covered by Towns. Good on the bucket. Davis has got 13. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is kicking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Pass to Farrell. Towns with the ball. Cartwright with a rebound. Good work defensively by Towns. Shooting just 24% on this one. Not great. Here's Boss. Back to Towns. 16 feet out. Parker, no good. Shooting just around 41% in the second. Right wing. 24 seconds left to play in the first half. Six on the shot clock. And he banks in the layup. Yeah, more points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Out to the wing. Here's Boss. And that's not going to go. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Delivering the blowout. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what was your impression? The work they put in on the glass has been the difference maker. Truly an all-hands-on-deck attack. Give them credit for being the more aggressive team. Rebounding is one of the stats that sometimes gets overlooked, but not tonight. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. I know teams love to rely on the three, but you got to know when to get away from it. They didn't, at least throughout the first half. Hopefully they're making the adjustments, but sometimes teams just get stubborn. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We've got Barnes, and it's Magician in at the one. So that's who Jamal Mosley starts the second half with. Back to Barnes. From deep. O'Connor with a rebound. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Lays it up and banks it in. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. And this is exactly what you love to see. Up big, not letting up keep on applying pressure to their defense. Now here's Barnes. Here's B. That's in. Coming off an assist from Barnes. He's got five. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. O'Connor, that's good. 
probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Now here's George. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. You know, that was an excellent play right there, using his strength to power through contact. The free throw is off from George. Shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Outside Davis. Oh, there's the alley! And Davis slams it home. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. Pass to Barnes. And here's Holmes for three. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Holmes. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Here's Peterson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Three for four now. Pass to Magician. To the inside. Here's D. Out left to the wing. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Moore. Gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Here's Magician. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's Holmes. Misses off the left iron. A wasted trip down the floor. That's not a good shot at all. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. Here's Gilmore. Pass to Holmes. A step back shot. No good that time. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. And this is what the really good defensive players do. They anticipate, and they're rarely fooled. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Gilmore. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Back to Holmes. Just five to shoot. Oh, they need this! Peterson with a rebound. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Shot is good. Dudley. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. Pass to Magician. Over to the wing. And here's Holmes. Here's Magician. Here's Doc. And he starts out with a miss in this one. Gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. And he's going for the lob! Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. Boy, just sheer dominance. The ability to step into enemy territory and flat-out take over. This is impressive. Pass to Prez. Here's Gilmore. Here's Magician. Got it off in time to beat the shot clock, but it's no good. 
Here's Peterson. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Pass to Prez. Here's Moore. Knocks it loose. Here we go, all alone. <laughs> First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Pass to Farrell. Here's Boss. Here's Moore. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's the Magician. one falls for him. Parker, he's checked in for more. And so he makes both from the line. And really strong at the line since the break. They just can't stop this run. And honestly, the more empty trips they have, the more they feel the pressure. There's a minute 54 left to play in the third quarter. Here he goes. Pass to Farrell. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, that was clearly a foul. And the first one at the line is good. Barnes, he's checked in for Parker. He makes one or two that time gotten seven of their nine shots to fall quality shooting in the second half kept alive a trade and that one's good a nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort and they're shooting with much more confidence here in the second half the field goal percentage is now over 50 percent has to be fires the three owens grabs the board gotten 8 of 11 shots to go in efficient so far in the third here's a train 
And he drains it. A solid five for six now. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Here's Boss, looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's B. Misses the jumper. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And he just powered through contact, trying to complete the play. He makes a first. Both good from the line that time. 50 seconds left in the third quarter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Back to Barnes. Releases. The Magician grabs the miss. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Owens, no good. Here's Farrell. Down low. Out to the right wing. Pass to Champ. Not going to go that time. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. Delivering the blowout. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. Head coach Billy Donovan is mic'd up along the sidelines. Let's check it out. Exert yourself by being this. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Owens, and it's Dudley in at the five. Here's Cartwright. And he throws it down with one hand. And just a great screen. And they got a high-powered finish out of it. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Now here's Holmes. Here's Farrell. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, in December of the 21-22 season, the NBA set a record for most players used in a season. Doris, what'd you learn from seeing so many new guys? I think the exciting part of that, Brian, is the fact that the G League is now an integral part of each organization. You have the opportunity to bring guys up and down between that lower level and the NBA. It affords guys who maybe are getting spotty time in the NBA level to continue to enhance their skill. The first free throw is good. He's off on the second, and they get it back. Here's more. Owens grabs the board. Shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. Pass to Peterson. 
Here's Owens. Tries again. Rebounded by Farrell. Now here's Holmes. Defense right on him. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Pass to Boss. Shot clock at six. No good from outside. Gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Baker. And that one hits the back iron. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. Here's Boss. Back to Holmes. And the impact of international players in the NBA. It's climbing dramatically. Doris, in 1990, they played less than 5% of available minutes. Now it's more than 20%. Well, the beauty is it's not just about the increase in numbers. It's the players at the top level in the NBA. Look at the MVP race last season. The top three were all international. I love it. It's a good sign for the game. We want the best players regardless of where they're from. Pass to Prez. Here's Farrell. To the middle. Here's Boss. And the layup falls. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Cartwright. Here's Fisher, and there it is for him. And this is exactly what he's capable of. He finds different ways to make an impact, this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. Here's Boss. Here's Prez. Blocked! And they get it back. Gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Baker. Pass to Peterson. Second shot opportunity. And Holmes pulls it down. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Here's Moore. Launches a three. And they recover it. To the left side wing. Goes back up. Here's Prez. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Gotta show more strength on the low block to keep him out of position. Well, it's a couple of things here, I think. Certainly the effort, the willingness to fight, and the willingness to push him off of his comfort zone. Here's Boss. And last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Honoring Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson. I love bringing up these names again. I agree, B.A. I mean, these are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. So the idea of adding a little hardware and putting their names on it, I couldn't think of anything better. Now here's Holmes. Pass to Moore. Here's Farrell. And it's rejected. Here's Baker. Looking to get back on track. It's rebounded by Moore. Moore's got four rebounds in the game. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Here's Prez. Pass to Boss. Free throw line jumper. They get it back. Holmes, good. Holmes has got his first points of the night. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. Here's Cartwright. Here's Peterson. Pass to Owens. 
Out to the right wing. Here's Baker. That one a little long. Shooting a very low 20% for this game so far. Here's Boss. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four <laughs> or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course, Grant. <laughs> the first one falls. Both teams will make substitutions. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Shooting at 31% here in this fourth quarter. Inside, here's Dudley. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Pass to Doc. Here's Farrell. To the right side. Boss, good. And here's the mobile one drive. A great move to get right to the cup. Yeah, a double-digit deficit. They're going to have to play better. They need more of this kind of aggressive play. Here's Peterson. Pass to the Magician. All right, Doris, let me get your thoughts on big superstar trades where teams are trying to win championships right here, right now. I think my response would be, Brian, show me the one that's worked in recent history. Listen, it's a bold gamble. And ultimately, talent wins in this league. What you cannot set aside is you have to understand, do the parts fit together? Are they committed to team first? Are they willing to put in all the work required to win a championship? Without it, you won't win. Pass to Dudley. Here's Cartwright. Here's Peterson. Here's the Magician. No good on the three. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Towns. Down low. Here's Champ. He's off on that one. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. The visiting club takes the win on the road. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian A.